Hi, Brent Tech here, where tech is made simple. So if you are wondering how you can actually block internet access to specific apps over on Windows 10 and Windows 11, then just a quick video to show you how you can actually go about this process. Now, if you are asking the question, first of all, why would you want to block internet access for specific apps? There are a, a possible couple of reasons and these would include preventing unnecessary downloads and enhancing the actual security, increasing your internet speed, so maybe you're doing a lot of gaming and you don't want unnecessary apps in the background um, using a lot of um, your bandwidth, so that's a, another example. It will also give other apps the required bandwidth that they need, and also it can save network resources on limited and budget internet plans. So that's just a couple of um, simple examples why you may want to do this. Now there are a couple of ways you can actually go about this, but I'm just going to use the Windows Defender firewall that's available both on Windows 10 and Windows 11. And once again, you can follow the steps in this video um, on both OS's because it's a very similar process. Now what I would suggest is just head into search or typing into your start menu if you don't have your search enabled. Just do a search for Windows Defender Firewall. And on Windows 11, it'll open up uh, in the legacy kind of a dialog for the Defender Firewall. And when you do this on Windows 10, at first it'll open up uh, the firewall and network protection in the actual Windows Security app. And then at the bottom, you would see what we're going to look at now, your advanced settings. So you click on advanced settings to the left hand menu in Windows 11 and advanced settings will be to the bottom of the page when you head over to firewall and network protection over on Windows 10. That's the only difference. Everything now is exactly the same. So what we need to do is we've clicked on advanced settings from the left pane or down below in Windows 10 and you need to choose outbound rules. Okay. And then what you do here is to the right hand side you would select new rule make sure program is selected it is the default but just make sure it's selected click on next and then what you're going to have to do here is you are going to click on browse to locate the app you want to block internet access for and just take note though that the app needs to be in your program files or your program file by 86 folder. So if we just head over to our local PC, I'm going to head over to my program files by 86 and I'm looking for Mozilla maintenance service. Obviously you can do this with any app. I'm just using this as a simple example. Open that up and here's the actual maintenance service for Mozilla. Click on that, click on open and then click on next here at the bottom. And then make sure block the connection is ticked. It is the default, but just make sure it's ticked. Click on next. And then just make sure that all of these are checked. So that would be uh, the check boxes for all three network profiles are ticked. Click on next. And then you can rename this uh, if you want to. It's optional, but you can um, give it a description for the rule. So I'm just going to call it block Mozilla Maintenance Server, BMMS for short, nice and in bold so I can see it. And then obviously you would click on finish and there we go, we're done. So in my case that's going to block internet access for the Mozilla Maintenance Service over on my Windows 11 device. And if you want to reverse the process and you want to unblock a certain app um, from having access to the internet, you follow the steps in this video once again, you come back to advanced settings and yeah, you'll see if we head to outbound rules, right at the top here you can see there's my BMMS block Mozilla maintenance service as an example. As mentioned, you can do this with any app in your program files and your program files by 86. And if you want to unblock that, you can just click the appropriate uh, filter and you can just delete that, click on yes, and there we go, everything's back to normal. So that's just a quick video to show you how you can limit or block internet access to a certain app. 
if you want to obviously give priority to other apps or maybe you're gaming over on Windows 10 and Windows 11. So thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next one.